We think it will improve productivity because because the the, the, the people who are working, the employees, uh, would feel more comfortable and they would be happier uh, in the workplace. So. Um, so everyone's been talking about the, uh, the dreaded big one, uh, the big earthquake. Now everyone seems to be preparing and anticipating, sadly anticipating that. Uh, how ready are Philippine buildings? I mean, and what is the Daiichi difference when it comes to disaster resilience and the office buildings that you, you, you guys come up with? Uh, when we were designing our uh second building in BGC, our office space. That was just right after the Japanese tsunami. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went out of our way to uh, engage uh, uh, a structural engineering firm out of Thailand. What they do actually is uh, they perform uh, computer simulations by uh, inputting your struct our structural design for the building into a computer program. And uh, it simulates different earthquake scenarios. Mm -hmm. it, they make the building twist, jump around, mm -hmm. and basically see how it performs. And with that, they come out with a report and they tell us um, there are certain portions uh, in your building that uh, that's, uh, should be reinforced. Uh, uh, because of wind factors or because of the way it's designed and uh, you end up with something that will perform very well in case of uh, earthquake scenarios such as something that would happen um, they say every 500 years mm -hmm. but we're protecting against that as That's well. That's fantastic. Given the fact that um, this is now the new normal, I've always looked at the Daiichi brand is someone who's really been obsessed about the use of technology in making uh, buildings safer and workspaces uh, uh, more livable, right? Workspaces that are livable. Uh, what's your take on um, Workspace 2.0? I mean, how has this millennial movement changed the way you've been uh, designing offices? I mean, being a forerunner in this uh, discourse in Workspace 2.0. We're more conscious now of uh, how the actual tenant or even the actual uh, people using it would want their wor workspace to be like. So um, it, it, if you look at the, the design of, 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 of the workspace now, it's mostly based on um, how they actually use the space, the, the inter interaction between departments um, if if one department is more collaborative than the other but one has to the other one has to have more private space such as you know if it's a finance department and and you design it um, around their 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 actual uh, how they actually uh, perform mm -hmm. their daily activities so the, you consider the culture yes. in the design of uh, in the design of your spaces. It's amazing how um, uh, one of the leading commercial developers in the country is considering not just safer buildings, but also more livable, livable workspaces for, uh, for our employees.